Hey, welcome back guys, I'm Andre Thompson, Privileged Bow Hunter. Hey, the hunting season is getting closer and closer, and as it approaches, there's some things that we must make sure that we take care of in order to get out of the woods safely. I don't wanna hear about anybody falling from trees. I don't wanna see any RIP posts on any Facebook or uh, saddle hunting forums out there. So I'm gonna take you through what I do, um, some inspections that I do before the season and throughout the season. I need you guys to leave below in the comments uh, some things that I may have missed and some things that you do as well, because the goal is for us to grow as a community and everybody to make it out of the woods every time we go up a tree. Uh, but before we get into that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit all so you don't miss a single upload, and then also hit like. Uh, it costs you zero dollars to hit the like button, but it does everything for me, the channel, and the algorithm. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, hey, so what I have right here is Sterling Oplux. It is uh, super high quality. Um, you can't really buy a much better rope. It's lightweight, um, high tensile strength, breaking strength, heat resistant, and all those things. But this rope is only as good as my inspection. So what I need to do, right, one of the things I'm checking for is whether or not this thing is core shot. Um, core shot, as I understand it basically, is uh, as I bend this rope, there's a good amount of curve, right, a good amount of um, roundness here. I can't just smash it together. And then when I do put tension on it, it kind of springs back to life. Um, that was one of the inspections. So I'm going throughout the whole rope and I'm pinching, pinching, pinching. I'm looking for a soft spot. Now, one thing that uh, we really need to make sure uh, that we take a look at is our scaffold knots to um, quick links, whether it's the Delta or whatever quick link you're using. Um, with scaffold knots before, there was a big knowledge upgrade and how to tie it. Some people were tying them incorrectly and it looked right, but as you would put tension on it, you put your weight on it, it would undo itself and you would actually fall um, and it would fail. Then another thing that we really need a major upgrade on, it's the single point where this rope is connected to the quick link. And what happens is as we put tension on it over time, that could be a fail point, a potential fail point um, for your rope to be core shot. So before the season, right, and even mid season, you guys should be undoing these scaffold knots and checking here to see if this point is um, core shot. If it is, you need to cut your rope away um, just below this spot, heat it up and start fresh. Yes, you're gonna use, lose a little bit. Um, yes, you're gonna lose a, a bit of uh, length on your rope, but it's better than uh, climbing unsafely, right? So. Check your rope, nicks, tears, abrasions, and make sure that this thing is not core shot. Okay. Next thing you guys wanna check is your climbing stick. So a lot of us drill into our sticks and put it on the aftermarket uh, cam cleat. Uh, but what we need to be doing, right? If, you, if you're gonna take that risk, um, take your life into your own hands by modifying your gear, that's you all are adults, it's your choice to make. Um, but I recommend a couple times a year Undoing all that hardware, pulling off that cam cleat and check cam cleat and checking for signs of stress, discoloration, cracks, all of that, right? And that place where um, you drill through, because that would probably be an area if your stick was going to fail, it would probably fail in the area that you modify. And then also along with that stick, the attachment um, rope. I'm using am steel, right? You may be using some type of rope or some type of daisy chain or whatever. But every inch of it, I'm looking, um, I'm feeling, I'm trying to find something wrong with this gear. Same thing, I'm moving on to my aider. I'm checking every single inch of this, guys. And then I kind of treat the stick like, uh, like an arrow. I kind of, you know, work it in my hand, see if I can hear any creaks, any cracks. Um, not only will that give you a sign of if something is broken here, um, but it also lets you know if your gear is going to make some noise that, that might uh, ruin a hunt for you. So that's the one stick. All right, guys. And thirdly, it's the saddle, right? I'm checking every inch of this bridge. I'm literally, this is your single point of failure here um, for you guys that don't also run a secondary bridge. So you need to make sure that all of this is good to go. Right, and a lot of this is, is gonna be common sense. Obviously, I'm not a climbing expert, so seek an expert, but I'm trying to use my common sense here, right? Is the seat that I'm sitting in on this saddle, is it frayed, is there holes in it? Okay, so saddle inspection points, um, all good to go. 
Hey guys, leave below in the comments, right? Any lessons learned that you may have, any horror stories. Um, we're all as a community just trying to grow in knowledge and safety, go out, enjoy the outdoors, but then also make it back to our family. Hey, if you like this video, if it was entertaining, um, if it helped you in any way, please make sure you smash the like button. It costs you nothing. It does everything for us and the algorithm. Share it with your friends. If you don't know how to spell it, it's P-R-I-V-I-L-E-G-E-D. I know you know how to spell bow hunter. Love you. Peace.